All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are looking at Sandbox. So Sandbox is currently at about 76, and it's trying to push up. You can see that it's been stuck at this 786 for a couple of weeks now. So the big price to beat is 80. If you can get over 80, you'll retake the FTX high here before that crash, and you'll have a shot at the 200-day moving average. It's about a 17% uh, move away from where you are right now at the 76 level to get up here to this 88, 89 level at the 200-day um, moving average. So that's your big price to watch there. So watch 80 and then about 90 to break. If you can get over the 200-day moving average, that's a very bullish sign that you're going to push higher and you'll have a shot at a dollar up here. And you can see we already have it on the screen. About a 28, 29% move higher if you can blow past both of those uh, resistance levels there. Uh, but do notice that you do have the moving averages here, the 21-day moving average. You're kind of just holding it as support, and it's pushing you up. So you have support, and you have um, you have the uh, momentum to push through 80 here. Uh, you are curled down on the MACD here, but it could it could curl up at any moment. The RSI is kind of bouncing up. Um, and as for bearish divergence in the price and the RSI down here. Um, I'm not really taking that into account just for just for the fact that the market is kind of bullish uh, Somebody did point that out on the let me switch charts for one second here on Alluvium here that I covered yesterday You could see that it did blow right past the 74 level here um, There is over seven hours left on the candle here, but we'll see if we can hold it It may turn into a wick like this, but this is not about Alluvium I just wanted to point out that uh, we did have the same thing going on with this, but you can see the RSI curled up and it's no longer bearish divergence here. So Alluvium looks good at the moment, but switching back over here to Sandbox, uh, we really need to get above 80 to have a shot at those higher prices there. Um, if we end up pulling back, we should hold the um, moving average for support. So, you know, it could, you could drop down 8 9%, depending on where it is. You could even drop down 5%. So... We'll say as long as you hold 70 cents, as long as you hold 70, 68 to 70, where this 618 is, anywhere from 68 to 70, uh, about a 10, you know, just wherever it depend, wherever it's going to land at. As long as you hold 68 to 70, you're still bullish, in my opinion, and you can still push higher. Uh, if you end up losing 68, then you'll probably lose the, if you do not bounce at the 50-day moving average there, at about... 64 you know it all depends on where these moving averages are going to end up uh, by the time you get through here you'll probably hold the 50-day moving average at the 68 level so if you end up losing 68 we'll just leave it at that you're going to drop down here to 60 so a potential 20 percent drop if you lose the 70 cent level um but you would really want to come down here and just bounce and then move higher so like i said you know it looks good on everything at the moment it's kind of just going sideways uh, it has the potential to push up if we switch to the Heikinashi candles, you can see here it's starting to trend up. It's printing green now, so that's a very good sign. So we'll see if it has the uh, the momentum and the push to push through this 80 cent here. But if it does not, just watch those couple of prices to the downside. Watch the moving averages. If you end up losing those, then this thing's going down. But like I've mentioned in other updates, the moving averages are slowly creeping up and passing the 200-day moving average, which is a very good sign. It's helping push the price up, and it's helping the whole market to flip bullish. So... We'll see over the next couple of weeks if everything, you know, uh, turns green and we start moving higher and we are actually in the beginning stages of that bull run. So I, I've been saying it for months now on my BTC updates that um, March, April is going to be the bottom and then we're going to move higher. But we'll see. We may dump one more time down to 10K and just blast out of here and we may just steadily go up. So we'll see. Uh, just watch those prices there on Sandbox and not financial advice. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace out.